Begin recording. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are live. Well, not broadcasting live, but we are live now, meaning it started. <laughs> um, it's like a jungle sometimes. I keep from wondering how I keep from going under. It's the theme of the next four parts of this safari jungle safari uh, series. And we're going to go and start in the back end of safari you can watch on the screen if you have some vision or um, you can just listen either way you'll get the information i'm going to run through it fairly quickly but detailed and uh, this is part one of four so look out for the remaining three parts coming each week in june as well as uh, july and next we're going to tackle the finder and a couple other things that i've been wanting to get off my chest is it like a jungle thing oh okay i got yeah i got you all right so preferences messages angela pratt yes thanks a bunch uh angela said yes thanks a bunch now i wonder why i got that message because i know i sold it to uh do not disturb all right so here we go preferences on any app what's the keystroke tell me i know you know it if you don't, you definitely need to take one of our course. Uh, command comma. Command and the comma key. So I'm going to go to Safari. 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 Fedora Outlier LLC. Better than excellent assistive technology consulting, teaching, and support. Window. Link. Blog. All right. And so that just gave us a bunch of information, right? It said that the website we're on is fedoraoutlier.com. It gave the tagline. It said the link that was highlighted is blog. And um, we're here. But we want to go to the preferences, which is command comma. Preferences, general, window, HTTP, slash, slash, fedoraoutlier.com, slash, content selected, edit text. <laughs> All right. And so the home page is set to fedoraoutlier.com. You can have this set to uh, whatever you like. You can just type it in right here. You remember back in the day, Yahoo, the Google home page was like the main page that people would have up. Um, same thing here. Of course, I would want to promote Fedora all over the world. So that's what I have up, right? You don't need to share somebody else's brand if you have your own. Toolbar. All right, so I'm going to go to the toolbar. Um, show you what's in here. Into general, selected button. You got general. Tabs button. Tabs. Autofill button. Autofill. Passwords button. Passwords. Search button. Search. Security button. Security. Privacy button. I guess I don't need to repeat it if it's saying it. You can hear it. Websites button. Extensions button. Advanced button. Advanced button. All right, and that's the end of that. General, selected button. General is selected, so we'll go out. Out of Safari opens with. A new window. Safari opens with pop-up button. All right. Safari opens with, and I have it selected as a new window. Now, there's a reason why I do that in particular. I like switching between windows rather than tabs based on my workflow. And so what that means for me, a lot of times I'm working in a on a page, and I need to get something off that page, and then I can close out the window. Um, tabs work similar. It's a group of uh, tabulated websites at the uh, top of the screen that you can choose from. And, you know, everything here is based on preferences. That's why they call it Safari Preferences. So I have it selected as a new window just based on my workflow. New windows open with home page. New windows open with pop up button. Uh, the new window that opens, I actually need to change that because I don't want it to be. Uh, the home page. So menu check my empty page. Same page. Tabs for favorites. Choose tabs folder ellipsis. Choose tabs folder ellipsis. Uh, actually, I don't want tabs for same those. page. Uh, empty page. Check mark home page. Top sites. Favorites. Favorites. Let's go with favorites. Press favorites. Favorites. New windows open with pop up button. New tabs open with. All right. New tabs. If you're choosing to use tabs versus windows. Favorites. New tabs open with. You can pop -up have button. the uh, tabs open to favorites and. That's why I have that there just in case I do use it um, and you get those same choices that you had with Windows and um, all of that um, that we just seen. Homepage, HTTP, slash, slash, All right, you don't need to hear that. We already did that. Homepage, set it. Set to current page, homepage, button. All right, you can set to current page. Let's say you're on a particular page that you like. Um, you can come here, command comma, go to general and set to current page, the current page that is there, um, already on your screen. Remove history items. After one year, remove history items. 
pop-up button. All right. Remove history items after, and I have it set to one year. Now, the reason for that, because we're a business, it's important that we keep that data. So I keep it for a year, I archive it, and then I reset it at the end of each year. But it's important that we're able to track our analytics and places that we've been. You can have it set to something a lot uh, sooner for it to be cleared, um, or you can have it at a year. It's not going to really make a difference uh, too much in that. Favorites shows. Favorites. Favorites shows. Pop-up button. All right. And, of course, I want my favorites to show <laughs> my favorites. Um, you can have it set to other things as well, and uh, that's cool. Top sites shows. 12 sites. Top sites shows. Pop-up button. All right. My top sites, I like uh, 12 in total. I actually need to make that to 10. Menu check mark. Six sites. Six sites. Check mark. 12 sites. But you see why I have 12? Because it only gives me 6 or 12. So I would like 10. Press check mark. 12 sites. 12 sites. Top sites shows. Pop-up button. But we have 12. File download location. Downloads. File download location. Pop-up button. All right. Some of this stuff is kind of self-explanatory. And you can have your downloads that you download from Safari go to a different place. I have it going to downloads. I mean, why not? Remove download list items. After one day, remove download list items. Pop-up button. All right. Now, my downloaded items I have uh, to be removed after one day. I'm going to change that to something longer. I don't know why. Menu check mark after this one day. computer is set to one day. When Safari quits, upon successful download, manually. Manually. Uh, change it to manually. Now you can't have Upon successful it, download. Successful download. It'll just automatically remove. When Safari quits. When Safari is closed, you can have it. Um, I am Upon manually. Gonna do manually because press manually. That's manually. What I need. Remove download list items. Pop up button. Open safe. Safe. Open safe files after downloading. Unchecked checkbox. All right. Open safe files after downloading, and that is not checked. What that actually means is any file with an extension that your computer is able to use, such as .txt, .pdf, .mp3, .mp4, .rtm, all of that, um, it'll download and then it'll open up the respective application for that particular item. What that can do, potentially, and the reason why I don't have it checked is, let's say you download something that you think is a song and it's actually a virus. Well, you just downloaded it and executed it and potentially it could run rampant across your computer. Never ever has happened to me. I'm just a fan of uh, better safe than sorry. So that's unchecked for me. Safe files include movies, pictures, sounds, PDF and text documents and archives. There you go. Help button. All right, and then you got your proverbial help button. So we're going to go back up to the toolbar. The key command I'm going to use to go all the way to the top without having a tick, 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 tick. Don't you hate when people go? Say, open, I hate that. Items. So I'm just going to press Control, Option, and the Home key. Toolbar. And I'm back at the toolbar. One stroke. Simple. In general, tabs button. All right, we're going to tabs. I talked to you a little bit about tabs, but. Press tabs. Selected button. Out of open pages and tabs instead of windows. Never. Open pages and tabs instead of windows. Pop-up button. All right, and I have that set to never. As I explained, don't really use tabs. Command click opens a link in a new tab. Uncheck checkbox. All right, and I don't have that checked because I don't like tabs. But if you command click, um, that's holding down the command key using your trackpad or your mouse and click, um, it'll open that up for you. When a new tab or window opens, make it active. Check the checkbox. All right, and when a new tab or window opens, make it active. So I want to go to a new window, command N, new, um, and we'll just make that the active window because I wouldn't have wanted it if I didn't want it to be in the forefront. Use command 1 through command 9 to switch tabs. Check the checkbox. All right, now, in the event that I did use tabs, what I would do is, and I do this sometimes when I'm doing research and I need to go uh, back and forth and I may have six tabs open or six different windows, um, case by case basis is uh, I can press command one through command zero and open up 10 tabs. So let's say I got six, I got this on this, that on that, and that on this six times, and I need to go back and forth. I'll go ahead and set those up, and then I could go between the different sites uh, with command one through six, or in this case, uh, one through zero, ten sites total. Show website icons and tabs. Uncheck checkbox. All right. Don't really deal with the visual because I'm completely blind, so no need to load up images 
Um, does it make it visually aesthetic for me? So, hmm, uncheck. Command, click. Opens a link in a new window and makes it the active window. All right. Command, click. If you are a uh, mouse person, uh, trackpad person, command, click will open up um, that and make it the active, which means in the forefront. Command, shift, click. Opens a link in a new window. All right. Command, shift, click just opens uh, a link in a new window. Command, option, click. Opens a link in a new tab and makes it the active tab. Same thing with the tab. Command, option, shift, click. Opens a link in a new tab. Help button. All right. And there's help. Go all the way to the top. Toolbar. In general. Tabs. Selected button. Autofill button. Ah, autofill. I love it. I love it. Press autofill out of autofill web form. Using information from autofill web form. Using information from my contacts autofill web forms. Check. Checkbox. All right. So I have everything for the most part in my actual contact card. Um, that's another lesson for another day of making yourself a contact card. But I recommend it for everyone because handing out business cards is quite old. I mean, it goes in the trash can. You know it. I know it. And uh, I like to just shoot you over a quick contact card. All my information is there. Um, nice and formatted and looking great. And there you have it. Edit using information from my contacts autofill web forms button. All right, I can open edit contacts with your card and uh, open that up and edit it. Change the information, usernames and passwords autofill web forms. Check checkbox. All right, username and passwords such a great feature. Command shift A, and if I already have my information saved, it'll just type it in. I can hit log in, and we're off to the races. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Edit usernames and passwords autofill web forms button. I can remove saved names and passwords. Credit cards. Check. Checkbox. Uh, credit cards for me as well because I'm the only one who uses the computer. And um, I hate having to go find my credit card information when I'm making uh, purchases. So I have that set as well. And of course. Edit. Credit cards. Edit button. It. Other forms. Autofill. Web forms. Check. Checkbox. All right. Other forms are just miscellaneous information mainly for companies. Um, obscure stuff that you may not already have um, set. You can set it here and of course you can edit other edit forms with help button and help go up to toolbar toolbar in tab auto passwords button autofill selected passwords button all right passwords this is going to ask for my password and this is where your passwords are stored so i'm going to press that for security purposes press enter password secure edit text i'm going to enter my password Search field, search text field. All right. And so here you can search for a site like, um, let me see. Let's search for call. Call. And I'm going to just type call. Press call. return. So passwords table. In callinstudio callinstudio.com. Column one, row All one. All right. Callinstudio.com. Username, username, column two, row one. It gives the username if I had one there. Excellence. F username. All right. And there's two of them here. I'm actually going to delete this one when we finish because there's no need to use it. Password. CESV column four, row one, empty cell. All right. And you got the password. Any notes? Website. Callinstudio.com. Column one. Username. Excellence. Password. Federation. Caution. Reuse password button. Column right. four, row two. And it tells two. you that, hey, this password has been used on other sites. So you might want to, you know change it <laughs> website f-r-e-e-c-o-n-f-e-r-e-n-c-e-c-a-l-l-h-d username angela Pratt, password column column four row all three. right and that's another uh, site uh free conference call.com and it has the username and password there um, and a lot of times when you forget or you need to give it to someone this is an easy place to come grab it um what you could do is vo shift m menu copy website copy website copy username copy username copy password share with airdrop ellipsis Share. share with airdrop ellipsis there you go divider dimmed and that'll share all the information with someone that you would like to have it out of caution image past details add button remove button you can add one. remove you selected remove password one help button and help toolbar in autofill pass search button all right search what are you using press search selected button are you using yahoo i hope not out of search engine Search engine, Yahoo, Google, DuckDuckGo, all that great stuff. Google, search engine, pop-up button. I use pop Google, button. the Goog, yes, yes, the Goog. Include search engine suggestions, smart search field, check, checkbox. All right, in my smart search field, um, any suggestions that they recommend? Absolutely. Um, a lot of times I only remember, like, the first three letters of a site. 
um, and I'll type those three letters in and the suggestions will pop up based on my history. Love it. Smart search field. Include Safari suggestions. Checked checkbox. Safari suggestions uh, will come up in addition to the smart search suggestions. Enable quick website search. Checked checkbox. Uh, anything that's quick, I like to enable it just in case. Manage websites button. Uh, we can manage websites that are um, in the smart search field, basically the history of them, where they're at, and um, how um, they show up. Preload top hit in the background smart search field. Checked checkbox. Uh, preload top hits, um, different sites that you've been to. Um, it kind of expects that you're going to go there and it loads them up just in case um, you need them. Show favorite smart search field. Check the checkbox. Uh, show the favorites in the smart search field. Yes. Help button. And then there's help. Toolbar. In pass. Search. Security. Privacy. Security. But search. Selected. But security button. All right. Security. Here's how you be safe. Press secure. Out of fraudulent sites. Toolbar. Fraudulent site. Warn when visiting a fraudulent website. Fraudulent sites. Check. Uh, checkbox. All right. Of course, we want to be warned if there is fraudulent activity. You would want to use that. You would want to check that box. Safari uses Google Safe Browsing to identify fraudulent websites. Dimmed. All right. And it uses Google Safe Browsing for that. Web content. Enable JavaScript. Check. Checkbox. All right. Now, I enable JavaScript just because I don't know what sites out there that does and do not use JavaScript. Um, don't really um, it's like I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it or have to go to preferences and enable it. But um, just makes searching the web a lot more simpler. Help button. And then there's help. Toolbar. Into search. Se privacy button. Security. Privacy button. All right. Privacy. You want to stay private. Press privacy. Out of tool. Website tracking. Prevent cross-site tracking. Check the checkbox. All right. Prevent cross-site tracking. Now, what that is, is let's say you go to one place on the web and then you go to another place on the web. Those two sites could actually talk to each other and track you. So it's like I'm looking for dog food. And I go from one dog food place to the next dog food place. And then the next thing you know, I go on Facebook and there's ads on dog food. Mm, don't really necessarily want that. So I check that box cookies and website data block all cookies uncheck checkbox all right i don't block all cookies um just because i do like uh the fact that um it stores my history it keeps account of um, what i'm actually doing on the web so a lot of times they'll tell you to flush your cookies um so that the history is not affecting your safari's performance um so i don't block it i keep it you can block it manage website data button can manage that website data and how it's used. Apple Pay and Apple Card. I do use Apple Pay and Apple Card on Safari and everywhere that I can. So allow websites to check for Apple Pay and Apple Card website tracking. Check the checkbox. I have that checked. Safari allows you to make purchases on the web with Apple Pay and Apple Card using your iPhone or Apple Watch to confirm your payment. Dimmed. Help button. And help. Toolbar. Into a websites button. Privacy websites button. All right, websites. Press websites, out of preferences, table, microphone, row seven, selected. All right, and so with this, it's different things that you can add um, to your website functionality. So basically, let's say you go into a site that allows you to leave a voice message on their site, which is pretty cool. Then you have to tell Safari, hey, on this particular site, I want you to allow things like the microphone. And there's some other things in the table that we're going to go over. Um, and it's on a site by site basis. Um, you can add different sites. You can remove different sites and their particular functionality. Allow websites to access the microphone with the settings below. Website settings for microphone table. All right, and then you got the settings for the microphone. Let's go back to the other allow table. Allow websites to access preferences, table, micro, in prep, camera, row six. You can allow the camera. Page zoom, row five. Autoplay, row four. Autoplay. Content blockers, row three. I hate autoplay. You remember back in the day when people would have their website play music the minute you went to their website? I hate it. Reader, row two. Reader. General. Reader, con auto, pay, camera, micro, location, row eight. Location base, laptop, A. Hey. You're searching for Google, you're in San Diego, you live in Georgia, um, it's going to use location-based services to give you the suggestions for whatever you're looking for in the city, state that you're in, country. Notifications, row, pop-up, windows, row, plugins. 
Adobe Flash Player, Google Talk, pl- Google Talk Plugin, Google Talk Plugin, Video Renderer. Google Talk and all that. And then you get the different settings for whatever it Out is. Google Talk, allow websites to use this plugin with the se- plugin settings for Google Talk Plugin, Video Renderer, Remove, Dim Button, Remove so Settings for the selected active, websites. You can remove it. When visiting other websites, ask. When visiting other websites, pop up button. And for any one of those things that you can enable, enable, you can have um, Safari ask you if you want to use that particular function of that particular website. And I have it set to ask. I don't want you to automatically do stuff. Just make it, you know. Help button. And there's help. Toolbar. In- ex- advanced button. Advanced extensions button. Websites. Select extensions button. All right. Extensions. Extend the functionality of uh, websites. Press extensions. Select out of tool. Extensions. Web content. Automatically update extensions. Extensions. Web content. All right. Ext- extension info. Guru. All right, it's a bump. You know why? Because I don't use any extensions. It slows up your um, website loading, things of that nature. Out of ex- automatically update extensions from the Safari extensions gallery. Check checkbox. All right, now you can go to extensions that are approved by Apple. There's a gallery. Um, I have it checked just in case there is some things that I would use. And some examples of extensions are like the Facebook extension. It makes it super easy to post without having to actually go to Facebook. Um, there are some other ones that I've tried. Um, One password is an extension that is inside of Safari. So it's like having Safari and then there's a different little plugin slash apps that you can add uh, to the functionality of Safari and just extend that functionality. Now on this particular computer I don't have any enabled. There is a production computer that's closed because all types of notifications be coming in that I have probably 15 of them enabled but you just tweak the settings based on the extension that you have and um, Bob's your granddad. More extensions button. You can get more extensions here. Help button. And there's help. Toolbar. In- advanced. Advanced button. All right. So advanced. Press advanced. And the Select last one. Button. Out of smart search field. Toolbar. Smart search field. You got your smart search field. Show full website address. Check. Checkbox. I have show full website address. I just like that. You don't have to. Accessibility. Accessibility. We love that. Never use font sizes smaller than. Uncheck. Checkbox. Uh, I don't have any particular font issues because I can't see. So I don't have that checked. Nine. Never press tab to highlight each item on a web page. Check the checkbox. And it was nine as far as the uh, font size. Nine. Press tab to highlight each item on a web page. Check the checkbox. All right. And I press tab to highlight different uh, areas of a website. Works well for me. Use at your own risk. Option tab highlights all items except links. Option tab does what it said. Reading list. Save articles for offline reading automatically. Uncheck checkbox. All right, I don't do any reading list on this particular desktop machine. Sale, it's unchecked. You can have it uh, checked and saved. Internet plugins. Stop plugins to save power. Uncheck checkbox. All right, and again, there are no plugins, but you could um, check this and then it'll save power. Not really trying to save power because it's a desktop and it's always plugged in, pulling my electricity. Style sheet. Style sheet is like your template where your text, your font, how that shows up doesn't really affect me because I can't see. But in the event that you can and you need to change how the web web looks for you. None selected. Style sheet. Pop up button. You can go here. Menu check mark. Other ellipsis. Other ellipsis. Check mark. None selected. And you can go to other. Other ellipsis. And uh, choose various style sheets that may look and feel best for you. None selected. Style sheet. Default encoding. Western ISO Latin 1. Default encoding. Pop-up button. All right. Now, remember, this is advanced. So if you're encoding a website, you would know what this is. You would know why to use it. It has nothing to do with 99.9% of you guys. Proxies. Change settings. Proxies button. All right. Proxy Open the server. network pane of system preferences to change your proxy settings. Uh, proxy server is big in, <laughs> like, Japan, China, because they don't allow them to... Um, do what they need to do when they need to do it on the web. So sometimes you got to go through another server to make that happen. And you can change the server that um, your searches and your Safari history and what you do on the web goes through. And you would do it here by uh, setting up a proxy server. Again, if you need a proxy server, then you don't need me to tell you 
what settings you need to activate. Show develop menu and menu bar checked checkbox. Um, I have the develop menu check. It's in the menu bar of Safari. And the reason why I have that, just in case there's anything new, um, I like to check it and just look at it because I'm a geek. Help button. And there's help. Cool. So that is everything. So for a more detailed uh, perspective of uh, anything else in Safari on the Mac, we have several courses for you. And if you would like uh, me to teach you, then let's make it happen. You know the website address, fedoraoutlier.com. And uh, this is part one of four. Entering. Let's change the world. Watch parts two, three, and four. Show slash hide sound holes button. Let's uh, change the world together. And.